Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy and tonight I have the Compass Box Orchard House. A combination of mostly Klein Leash and Linkwood, does this light refreshing profile make for the best summer pour possible? I'll let you know when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. One of the newer additions to the Compass Box lineup, this is coming in at 46% ABV, non-chill filtered, no added color. Like I said, it's the majority Klein Leash and Linkwood. Here's the full breakdown of all the components, adding a little bit of smoky uh, scotch in there as well. Let's see how this is on the nose. So right off the bat, very like light, crisp, kind of clean kind of nose coming off. Lots of floral elements, maltiness in there. I get this like pear syrup, you know those like canned fruit cups? The syrup that comes from that, definitely get that in here. Really, really good. Honey, very nice sweet honey note, vanilla, red apple, lemon, orange, lots of like nice citrus fruits. There's a little bit of this kind of what I would say is like a barrel char kind of smoky element to it. Very, very faint, but everything in this glass, very refreshing on the nose, very well balanced, nicely complex, really, really enjoyable. Um, it's just a great, easy, clean kind of scotch. Let's go palette. Just so delicious. Nice viscosity for sure. All the fruit elements are carrying over. So that citrus and that orchard, kind of like that pear, really delicious on the palate. The lemon, the, the orange, still get that maltiness, still get those floral elements. But then there's a little bit of spice, a little bit of baking spice comes in. I get like a nice like baked goods, kind of like pie crust kind of element to it. That note is really, really nice. And that I get as that viscosity ramps up on the palate. Finish, I would say it's like medium, medium's long. It is a nice finish on this. It's crisp, it's clean, clear, kind of nice uh, rounded out flavors. I'd say that it maybe drinks even a little bit stronger than 46. I think the only caveat for me for this is it does drink young. I mean, obviously with the price point of this, we'll get to that. Um, there's not that much old whiskey in here, in my opinion. Um, it does drink youthful, but I think that the way that they've blended this it's not harsh at all, not not at all. You can just tell that there's some younger whiskey in this. But if you like more of like a little bit of like a spirit driven, uh, rounded out blend, this is it. This is such a nice, refreshing pour of scotch. Like you don't get too many scotch whiskeys, uh, blended malts or even just blends in general that come out like this. I think they've definitely hit a home run with this whiskey. Um, I mean, I've done a serious number on this. Me and a couple buddies really went to town on it one night. It was a, you know, a warm evening in the dead of summer and you were drinking refreshing tasting scotch. It's like something that you don't normally maybe go to on like a really hot summer night is scotch whiskey. But this one definitely lends itself to uh, that kind of environment for me. Score-wise for me on this, I'm going a very solid 87 out of 100. Let's talk value, 65 Canadian dollars. This is where this thing just shines. The value on this, I think, is through the roof. Adding an extra point and a half for value, 88 and a half out of 100. If you look at my scoring system down below in every single video, you'll see where I break down where I would recommend you purchasing a bottle without even trying it first, purchasing it completely blind. This falls into that category. 87 with a bump up in value makes it an absolute must buy. These are coming out in batches. Um, I think they're going to be added to the core range of releases, which is amazing. So this one on the back uh, says batch number L210721. So I read that as uh, July 21st, 2021. I think this is priced to where if you want to make like a really good cocktail with it, you know, like an old fashioned, maybe use like some kind of a lighter, more fruitier bitter, uh, like a, a highball would be really good. A whiskey smash, I think would be great with this. I think the combinations are endless. It's, it's a really good pour and play. You definitely don't need water. Uh, it would make a great cocktail and uh, Compass Box absolutely killed it with this. In my opinion, it is a must buy if you see it on the shelf. 
this bottle came uh, sourced out of Alberta. I hope the LCBO will get this. They do carry some Compass Box stuff, and if this is going into the core range, hopefully they will have some of it there. Um, but I mean, again, $65 Canadian was where I paid for this. Absolutely great. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, it is the perfect summer pour. So if you see it, pick it up. I do not think you'll be disappointed whatsoever. And let me know in the comments down below if you haven't tried this one. Uh, what is a nice summer pour for you in the Scotch whiskey category? If you have tried this, is it your favorite summer pour? Summer pour so far. Let me know in the comments down below. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Really much appreciate it. Have a good one.